commuters across Canada are navigating public transit in fear as random violence increases. Tonight, there are calls for a national task force with a focus on repeat offenders. Here's CTV's Alberta Bureau Chief Bill Fortier. What police call a targeted attack on a transit bus in the metro Vancouver area has left a 17-year-old boy dead and a family in mourning. I just don't know, like, how do we go on from here? Because, like, my life is built around kids. The stabbing is one of many violent incidents in recent days on Canadian transit systems. Toronto police are looking for help tracking down a suspect after a stabbing on a TTC bus Tuesday night. And Calgary police are dealing with two attacks, a shooting yesterday on a city bus that left a man with life-threatening injuries and a stabbing today during an argument that started with a complaint over loud music. Calgary's police chief expressing frustration. With all the work that's being done on transit, a shooting occurs on a city bus outside of the library at high noon. Like, come on. Today in Edmonton, a refugee from Ukraine was stabbed while waiting for a bus. Ivan Pilipchuk arrived just a week and a half ago. Like they were looking for, you know, Live, good life here, and perhaps you know, working, raising their daughter, and uh, being you know, peaceful life. And here we go. The head of a national transit union is calling for a task force to look into the surge in violence. Things are at uh, crisis level. Uh, we've never seen these kind, these kind of numbers and this kind of violence right across this country. The conservative leader also addressed the recent crimes, blaming the Liberal government's bail reform in 2019. Bill C-75 strengthened the right of an accused person to not be held in custody without just cause. It is a simple cause and effect. If you let the same violent people back on the street the same day they're arrested, they will do more violence. It's not clear how many, if any, of the suspects in the recent rash of violence were out on bail, but premiers and police have asked Ottawa to take another look at the system. In terms of uh, the unintended consequences of Bill C-75 and the bail piece, now we're seeing the impacts in every single community in the country. The Justice Minister has promised changes are coming this spring that will make it more difficult for repeat offenders to get out on bail. Omar. All right, Bill, thank you.